Okay, as promised, here's my first diagram uh, comparing the 2012 Prius V and the 2016 Prius engine. And um, the, the 2012 clearly shows a flow diagram. It's, it's accurate, but it's not really the hoses and connections and stuff. It just shows you which way the flow is and then the 2016 diagram was intended to be used in the 2012 and then I would get all my connections that were necessary so uh, that never came about I couldn't use the 2016 manifold and the EGR cooler so I reverted to the 2012 now, I made a diagram before that, and it's a little convoluted. It's not. It's not exactly. Uh, it's not exactly um, it, it, like location-wise, like the the radiator is way up on the the right-hand side, and the firewalls on the top there, and whatever. Um, but it's it's also correct, and it's got some notes that I, I put in there. Uh, notice that it says top and bottom. There is a top and bottom going to the heater core. Uh, the top one goes to the cat. The bottom one comes from the engine. So there's the flow goes from the water pump through the engine into the heater and then back through the EGR cooler. And don't forget about the radiator. The, the, the flow will go through the radiator if the thermostat allows. And now, my new diagram is pretty specific. It, it seems to be completely accurate. Um, the hoses, I didn't do the exact routing that you'll find in the, in the car. But, um, it, meaning, you know, I'm not showing molded hoses and curves in the hoses and stuff like that but the connections are correct the locations are correct the flow is correct and that's how it's going to be when you put your 2016 engine into your 2010 through 2015 Prius or Prius V because the Prius and the Prius V have the same engine and the same the same the same uh accessories okay so there you have it i hope it helps fix that prius